All right, so let's take a look at how to do uh, a chi-squared test. So if you guys look on uh, page 125, uh, so that's what uh, this one is, page 125, and they show us how to work through a chi-squared. All right, so for their example, there were a total of 40 seeds counted. All right, and so in this example, we are expecting three quarters of those to be green and one quarter to be albino, all right? So uh, what you do is you take three quarters times the total, which is 40, and you would get 30. You take a quarter times the total to get 10, all right? Now, what we're trying to do is to show that maybe our uh, results, what we observe, may not actually match what we expected. But what we're trying to do with the chi-squared test is to show, uh, are we close enough then, all right? And so here, our actual results were 33 green, seven albino, all right? So what we do to get our deviation is we take our observed and we subtract our expected. So 33 minus 30 gives us plus three. Seven minus 10 gives us negative three. Now it doesn't matter that it's positive or negative because the next column what we do is we square that. So we take our deviation and we square it. So three times three is nine. Negative three times negative three is nine as well. The negatives cancel out. The next column what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our deviation squared divided by the expected, okay? So nine divided by 30 is 0.3. And then nine divided by 10 here is 0.9. So this, uh, our chi-squared equals our summation of our uh, de deviation squared divided by expected column. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna summation, you're just gonna add those two together. So 0.3 plus 0.9 equals 1.2, uh, all right? And then from there we can get our P, which is from the table. And that table is on page 122, all right? Now, over here on the side of that table, it says C minus one. Now, C means classes or categories, all right? So C minus one. So if we come back here, we only have one, two categories, all right? So we come back here, we're gonna take two minus one. So that's our degrees of freedom. So two minus one is one. So we're gonna look on this row right here to see what is the closest to 1.2, and the closest to 1.2 is 1.074, all right? So as you can see, you know, these other ones aren't as close, all right? And so that gives us a P of 0.3, so our P of 0.3. Now, if we look up at the top, it says our deviation is insignificant. There is no reason to doubt the hypothesis that the ratios are the same. So here we're saying we got close enough. Now, if you get over in this area here, your deviation is significant, and the reason is, you have reason to doubt your hypothesis, all right? So that's what we're gonna do here, and what I would suggest to you is to write on the side over here what your expected will be, okay? Now, if we go to the next page over here, we see over here that uh, this is the dihybrid cross. And so what our expecteds over here are uh, is we're expecting, right, in a dihybrid cross, we're expecting that 9 to 3 to 3 to 1 ratio, right? So this should be a 9 sixteenths, 3 sixteenths, 3 sixteenths, and then a 1 sixteenths. So you take your, you can only get uh, what your expected is after you determine what your total will be. So you take your total, multiply it by what your expected, or uh, by, uh, the ratio that you expect them to be, so in this case for purple smooth, it'd be 9 sixteenths, and that should give you your expected, okay? So count up all your observed, that is gonna give you your total number um, uh, to divide by. And so that's how you figure out how to do this experiment.